I'm Jeff Bethke. I'm from Tacoma, Washington, 22 years old. And in January 11th, I wrote a poem called Why I Hate Religion But Love Jesus, doing it just for fun like anyone does when they put a video on YouTube. And within a week, it had about 10 million views. I mean, if religion is so great, why has it started so many wars? Why does it build huge churches but fails to feed the poor? I thought about, okay, why did it do that? Why did it get so many views? I think one, I think we, the last 20 years or so, um, the people in America and across the globe are just sick of the preaching one thing and doing another. And they've been so burnt by the church. They've been so burned by the stigmas of people on the corner holding up signs saying you're going to hell. See, this was me too, but no one seemed to be on to me, acting like a church kid while addicted to pornography. See, on Sunday I'd go to church, but Saturday getting faded, acting if I was simply created to just have sex and get wasted. On top of that, I think why it struck a chord is because I just shared my story. People were like, whoa, you can be broken, you can be messed up, and you can be authentic, which I think is really what the generation wants, is this next generation just wants authenticity. Growing up, I was what I would call a default Christian, which is pretty much 90% of America, where there's nothing better, it makes me look nice in front of my friends, so I'll just check that box on Facebook. But I remember growing up and getting to the point where I realized when you say the word religion, or when you say the word Jesus even, most people just think, hate gays, can't drink beer, and can't have tattoos. And that's when I realized, okay, that's not the essence of the scriptures. You know, that's not the essence of the Bible. And so that's when I started having doubts about that type of Christianity. I think, um, I think in America, we people aren't necessarily Christians. They're, um, they don't worship Jesus, they worship morality in Christian clothes. Now I ain't judging, I'm just saying, quit putting on a fake look. Because there's a problem if people only know that you're a Christian by your Facebook. I think we've got so far away from the New Testament Christianity, I would almost in some regards call the Christianity today a different religion. It's, it has a different set of truths, it has a different set of beliefs, it has a different tenets of how they follow their rules and how they follow the commandments. See, because religion says do, Jesus says done. Religion says slave, Jesus says son. Religion puts you in bondage while Jesus sets you free. I got a ton of reactions, whether positive, negative, negative, neutral, there was answers all across the board. I remember the first week I was just depressed because it, in it overnight, I could Google my name and read 20,000 people talking about me, you know? So it was, it was tough. It's interesting that people would critique me and say, oh, this is gonna make people not go to church, you can't do that. Another one of the critiques was, okay, you're offering a critique, but you're not offering a solution. Which first of all, I disagree with. I think I did offer the solution that it's about Jesus, not about you earning it. But I would get emails on the other side of things. There's one where she said, hey, I haven't been to church in three years because I felt ashamed, I felt too dirty for God, but your video made me step into church again and I felt welcomed and I felt loved. And there was another one that was even harsher where she said, hey, I've been raped, I've been abused, I've been sexually assaulted, um, and I think God was the reason for that or I didn't like God because of that. But because of your video, I realized that he loves me right in my mess, his grace is enough for me, and a church is a place that I wanna go to. So for me, Religion ends in two things. It ends in pride or despair. So either you make this list of religious activity that you do, read your Bible, go to church, and then you think you're awesome, and then you get really prideful and look down on people, or you make this list and you can't do it because your sins trip you up, and then you are just living in life uh, endless guilt, thinking that I can't do it, I'm not good enough, God doesn't love me. But Jesus is neither. He gives you humble, confident joy because he's secure, his sacrifice was final, and it doesn't depend on you, and so you can walk around in humility and in joy. And so I go to church and I do that, but not because of what I do. I go to church because I want to go worship with other people that realize it's about Jesus, not about us.